Hello everyone, it is Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. I am coming to you live from the craft slash dining room and I'm so glad to be here today. I do have something very exciting to share with you all today. Would you like to see it? Please say hello to the Gemini cam. There it is. I love my Gemini. I love it because I don't have to crank anything. And you know, if you have questionable wrists, electric die cutters are the way to go. Without further ado, let's get down to the table so we can take a look at what we are doing today or what we're planning. All right, so here's what I have today. I have this stencil set. This is a layered stencil set. Look at that you know exactly the order you're gonna work in. Now this is, again, photo play. This is part of the Say It With Stamps line. Really sturdy, heavy duty stencils, but it's also very simple. The other thing that I have are the coordinating dies. I thought that maybe I should just cut these out first to hedge my bets. I don't know how much I've talked about my sandwich, but I learned this sandwich from Jennifer McGuire and I am telling you, it has changed my life. So what this is right here, this is a clear cutting plate and one of the double-sided die cutting plates, but Jennifer has a video and after this live, I'll definitely link to it. Once I started cutting this way, you wanna always cut into one plate, right? And then, you know, make one nice and smooth. Once I started cutting this way, I swear to you, my life, oh, let's see, flip it over. I flipped both ways. My life was changed because my plates are not warping anymore. Like, like not at all. And any, anybody who has a Gemini knows, you know, you can, you can have some warpage happening, right? All right, here's, here's cut number one. And anyone who wonders, what is this little turntable? It's called a rotating design board from Totally Tiffany. And what do, you, what do you think of the Gemini cam? I can't see any of your comments right now, but I'm very excited because I get to just do this. There we go. I don't want this to move while I'm ink blending onto it. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. I'm going to use the bodies, but I am going to start with stencil. Oh boy, careful now with stencil two, a little tape, a little magnet. Now what I'm gonna do here, I guess I do have to have the magnet kind of out of the way. Well, shoot, I don't know. I wanna just bring in a light color right here on the background. So I'm gonna use a fairly light hand. I'm very excited about this though, because I've never done the cut first. And maybe I will make it a little darker at the bottom, just for fun. So I'm gonna say we're good with layer two, like that. Now look at how perfectly, oh my gosh, I, I, am, I am loving this. I'm gonna bring in peachy. We're bringing in peachy, it's a darker color, and I should really have those on opposing corners, and I should really have this tape. I am an over-adhesor, I'm okay with that. Spare the tape, spoil the adhesor, that's what I like to say. Actually, I say it different every time, so I don't really know if that's what I like to say or not. Let's see how this looks. Okay, let's get our pink brush out. And let's bring in, sometimes these magnets do get in the way of the flow, but let's go. I don't know if this is gonna look good. It might, it might not. Oh, but I think that's kind of cool, right? To kind of make it darker on the outside like that and then kind of bring it in a little lighter. <gasps> Yes, look at that. Darker out. Actually, a smaller brush might have been a better choice here, but you know what, we're good. Yes, lifting. Oh, we're gonna give it a try. Oh, that's a gorgeous color, look at that. And he's gonna have a little purple body, okay. Maybe a little dark at the bottom, and then just kind of fade him up a little. Or he's gonna be kind of just one tone. And we gotta finish it, but look at that. Oh, hey, that's pretty cute. Gosh, I really like that. Let me do one more. How does that sound?
like that. This is gonna dry and be a little lighter. So now I have two butterflies and now I have to figure out what to do with the rest of the cards. So here I have this 11 inches by four and a quarter and I'm going to, we're gonna score a note card at five and a half because we are making a top folding portrait oriented note card. Where's my, been way too long my friend. That has potential. Uh, Miss your face. What if I did a little miss your face and just kind of staggered it? <gasps> Book of Flight, you're all so genius. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Book of Flight, I, you are all so smart. And again, sometimes I go this way. Sometimes I go this way. Let's go this way. But this plate sandwich, I am telling you, life, my life has changed. Okay, Book of Flight. Here we go. I am going to try to get this cut in a way that is, and this may not work. I Well, see, I have this idea of having it book a flight. Gosh, I love this little trimmer. Look at that, I'm getting that right on that A. Now I have a cute little A. Baby trimmer is the bomb. The, the, I love it. It cuts beautifully. It's so easy to line things up and cut. Now, these are printed on a white core cardstock, which is great. That's why they're called a reverse because the white is where there is no printing ink, but I like my edges to be covered like that with black. And I like using Copics for this because they dry instantly. Back in the day when I was designing things, um, I would we had these cropping tools and we would be designing a brochure or whatever and we'd print out the proofs with all the stuff bleeding and we would lay on our cropping tool which showed you what a crop would look like. Do you know what I mean? And so when you kind of start to imagine a little bit of that happening, it's just... It's just an experience, right? Yeah, we kind of miss that, but we're, we're, we'd we be okay with that, right? Because then it makes this card feel expansive. I want this to have like a, like a, you know, like a cattywampus kind of feel, and I'm not gonna lie, that is really hard for me to do. I'm going to slide this out, and I'm going to, I'm gonna put this one right on the card. But see, the butterfly's tipping, right? And if I'm tipping the butterfly, Right, like he's there, I'm committing. And then this friend's gonna come over here. We're gonna put on a little liquid glue. You're beautiful. This is another angle. And again, this is hard for me to, you know, it's a little, a little tricky. But I kinda like that. That's a cute placement, right? What if flight was straight? Was a little off and A. It has to be purposeful or it will make no sense. Do you know what I mean? I wasn't gonna do it. I wasn't gonna make it straight, straight, but I think that is actually what is needed. I'm gonna bring in my new Simon ruler, which I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of obsessed with this because it has such a strong lip that it can press right up there. I love crafting. This is not what I expected. I appreciate the feedback because otherwise, I don't think I would have known how clever Book of Flight was. Now that, I like. But guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to trim this and normally I would do it in a paper trimmer, but I am just going to be a little gutsy here and I'm just going to cut it with scissors because these scissors are so great. Great. That's just fine. Oh, now see, see how it bleeds out. Now here's the pièce de résistance and I have to show you. There is a little shop, but you will definitely have to check it out. But the store is called, this calls for confetti. And I ordered a ton, well, that's, that's my classic one. I ordered a ton of these confettis from her shop. Gorgeous colors, right? And of course, no holes, no holes. When you order these from Simon, you get four of them. And I'm just gonna do this really quick. <laughs> We'll see. I don't know which ones I want, but they're beautiful confetti sequins. And we're almost done. It's not Etsy Bonnie. She has a website. She has an Instagram. I assume it's a woman who owns the company. And actually, I feel like that is the color that I would want to do. So let's just pop some down and we'll wrap up this card. For some reason, I'm feeling that right there. And you know what they say, I got a feeling 
Tonight's going to be a good night. We're in the home stretch, and now we boop it up. You can mute if you are not a fan. Come on, come on out. There we go. Boop. Oh, boop. Boop. I have some glue on my. Let's wipe you off. Okay, let's keep going. Boop. Sliding all over here. Okay. Boop, stay there. <laughs> We're moving and grooving. Boop. Coming down. Boop. And, oh, there. See, there's a bit of glue. Hold on. I see it now. It was on. Okay. We just had a boop catastrophe, but we're recovering. And. And that is the finished card project. So thanks, friends. That was really fun. I am surprised at the result. This was not what I had planned at all. I love this. I think it's really fun and graphic. Book a flight. You send that to your bestie. Oh, you know what? I think we did it. And I did it with your help today. So I really appreciate that as well. Thanks so much for watching, and you can find all of the links to the supplies I used in this live below in the information box. I'll see you back here with another card project soon. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.